All right. There's Mr. Crab up on the tree. Um, I got a piece of raw shrimp in there. I'll tell you about food in a minute. Let me get that out of there because it's going to draw flies. I think he's pretty much done. It's been in there for a couple hours. So let me throw this away. Come right back. So they love to, um, hermit crabs love to dig. And um, in my terrarium or tank, I've got um, coconut husk in there. You can use coconut husk or sand or a combination of both. That uh, coconut fiber, it goes a long ways. Um, I cut that in half and added bottled water to it. And it probably, it filled this tank more than satisfactory, just half of that block. It's a cheap pet. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So, or you can use sand or you can use a combination of both. Um, just be sure it's clean. If you, the coconut fiber will probably be okay. The sand, um, if you have any doubts, Put it on a tray, cook it in the oven for, uh, I don't know, sterilize it. 350 for a half an hour. And that should uh, sterilize that sand so that there's no bugs or any fungi left in it. Um, as you've seen, I just pulled a piece of uh, raw shrimp out of there that he just got done pigging out on. And um, actually he, this isn't a still, he's actually just not moving. So he climbed up that tree and he's just staying there. You, you'll see him move eventually probably. Um, they eat. They're omnivore. They'll eat anything that you eat. Um, just make sure that it doesn't have um, chemicals and byproducts or anything like that. It needs to be pure food. If it's broccoli, it needs to be broccoli. If it's shrimp, it needs to be shrimp. It does not try to get away from stuff that has preservatives or salt added, anything like that. Um, we've kept this guy alive for a long time. They eat almost anything. Um, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. Jeez. Um, you can look up edible flowers. Anything that you can eat, he can eat. So, you put it in there for a little bit. Um, it'll probably get flies on it. If um, they do like strawberries, melon, and those will attract flies, fruit flies, okay? If you leave them in there too long. So, put him in there and see if he comes over and eats it. If he's hungry, he's going to come over and eat it. 
Uh, they don't take much, uh, they don't eat much at all. They're probably eating fungus off of the tree limbs that are in there and combing through the coconut husk for anything that they can find. They don't take a lot to satisfy. Um, I, I, he freaks out when I put the raw shrimp in there. So what I do, I got some shrimp in the refrigerator, in the freezer. I break a piece off, I unthaw it in some bottled water because you can't have any chlorine or bromine, anything like that. And um, he, he just goes crazy on it. He drags it around the tank and uh, yeah, he loves that. Let's see what else. Um, yeah, they love to climb. This is, I think this is a, I don't know, 20 gallon tank maybe. I asked my buddy if he had one and he said, yep, I'll bring you one. I knew he's a hoarder, so he's got junk at his house and he brought me a tank. Thank you, Dan, love you so much. Um, he brought me a tank, I cleaned it up with a razor blade and um, yeah, he got a new tank. They, you gotta get them out of the, uh, little five by six thing, plastic thing that they give you at the uh, pet shop. That is, that is not good. You have to remember that they're, they're living on a beach in the mangrove and they have wide area, wide, wide area to um, look for shells and climb up trees and bury themselves. So you need to try to make your tank resemble a tropical beach with sticks coming up, basically limbs and trees, um, shells around that they can, you know, if they don't like the shell they're in, they can find one to go in. Um, and when they molt, they want to bury themselves, so they've got to have a, a good depth of sand, maybe three inches, two inches at least, um, or coconut fiber to go in, or a combination of both, like I said. And um, yeah, what else haven't we covered tonight? Uh, let's see, tank terrarium. Um, I actually have a, un underneath this tank, even though we live in Florida, I have a, a terrarium heater underneath this tank um, to keep it warm. Uh, they don't like anything under 74 degrees, I believe I read, but there's not that much information out there. We've really, really had to um, learn on our own on these things. But, uh, yep. And salt water. Fresh water. They don't eat much. Get them some food in there. Coconut us seems to be uh, cheap enough. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. Crab food. some crab food. It is the cheapest pet that you'll ever own. You won't have to clean up after them. In the house. I'm sure you can find a tank to call a terrarium at any cheap flea market or uh, garage sale. Five bucks. 
five bucks for the um, coconut husk and uh, I think maybe seven dollars for the food that lasts forever and um, bottle water I keep stressing that D don't give them tap water and as I learn more uh, I'll do a video on molting because um, that's been a real experience when they go underground for four weeks. Thanks for listening.